Five of Swords, communication issues, ego. That's serious conflict, okay? Someone, you're in conflict with someone. The Ace of Cups here. Looks like this is new love or this has to do with someone not opening up. Someone suppressing their feelings is also what I'd say, okay? This could be a self-sabotage too. Someone sabotaging the connection or uh, just behaving in a very... Uh, um, in a very different way. Five of Swords is serious conflicts, okay? But this is also a lot of communication issues between you guys. And maybe there's one person here who's walking away from the connection due to mind games. With the Empress here, I think that this is you, Capricorn. You're on your own. You walked away from a relationship where there was a lot of mind fuckery involved here, okay? Could be dealing with someone who usually always wanted the upper hand or someone who always wanted to win, okay, under any cost. Right now, you see yourself as the Empress here, okay? You could be with the Seven of Cups here. You could be having a lot of options, a lot of choices. But this is also you who's in her power, okay? This could also be someone who's watching you, the one who you walked away from, okay? Someone who sees you as financially abundant, abundant in every way, actually, and amazing in every aspect of your life. Someone who's uh, got that very nurturing uh, nature, and with the high priestess here, you could be giving this person the silent treatment. Someone's not talking. See, that's what I that's what I got. This person probably wants to come back. Probably you're standing up for yourself, okay? Because you realize your power. You realize how abundant you are. You're okay in your own. And giving this person the silent treatment, you know more than you say. And you have an issue. You already know that this person is coming back, and this person realizes it because with the higher event here, look at that. Damn, that's a divine couple. Yeah, this is a very spiritual connection, very spiritual connection. But for some reason, with the Four of Swords, yeah, I feel you guys are on a break. You guys are not talk in talking terms. This person definitely wants a high level of commitment with you, okay? Because the Empress here, they see you as marriage material. They see you as someone uh, who, uh, um, they would they would even want commitment with you. We have two cards of commitment here. But yeah, out here, they put you in a very, they put you in a pedestal, okay? They, they see you as someone who is probably unreachable. And I have a feeling that this this card screams to me like as they know they screwed it up, they know they sabotaged this connection and now they want you. They want you. They're learning their lessons. Tell me more. See, Queen of Cups. This person could be having a lot of love for you or they realize that you had a lot of love for them, okay? But they could probably be seeing you as someone, you know, you could have a lot, have had a lot of love for this person, but I see you pulling back from this person. I don't see you as wanting, I mean, you still love them. I don't see you as someone walking away. You're probably still quite invested in this relationship. But again, you're not open to this person. Okay, You're probably focusing on yourself, focusing on the self-care and self-love instead of opening up and giving someone unconditionally. Because this relationship, which once gave you happiness, it's become like a huge burden for you. Okay, This is uh, a draining energy for you. It's draining you out and you probably let this relationship go or you release the burden. You let this, you lay off the situation because it was getting too much. Maybe every single time you talk to this person, this person just shut you up. Or if you spoke to this person about what uh, the exact issues were in the relationship, this person probably didn't really care. But I'm also getting someone, you know, who's not really the best at expressing their emotions, okay? They would always sabotage the connection when it come to when it came to a certain point of commitment. And now that you've walked away, they see that there was an empty victory. They lost someone that they really, really valued or someone who really loved them. They see you in your power, okay? They see you as someone who's amazing, who's at the top, on the top of the world. And now they want something very, very traditional with you. There is a lot of love here, okay? But I'm just getting that it's hidden love. Tell me more for Capricorn and love. See, justice. They want to rectify the situation here. This is someone who wants to make the wrong thing right. Someone who wants to bring in balance to the situation. They want to give you what you deserve. They want to restore balance here for sure. But along with the Hierophant and the Justice, this definitely screams marriage to me. The Justice is also commitment, but again, it's something legal. See, that's what I'm saying, right? With the moon here, there's so much confusion here. There's so much the energy of unknown, right? Or it could also, again, I'm just getting someone who has a lot of deep emotions for you. But they're finding and having a very hard time opening up to you. Because they feel left out by you. With the five of pentacles. This is someone who feels left out. They feel iced out by you. Okay, you're giving them the cold shoulder. Not giving them the attention. Feeling, they're feeling neglected by you. 
because you're choosing to shut your emotions, cut the emotional cord here. You're wanting to keep to yourself because this person could have uh, made you feel very insecure within the relationship. Things were never fair, okay? It was a one-sided situation and you had to walk away to, because you love yourself first, okay? In order for this person to realize how you should be treated. Tell me what. What's going on for Capricorn? In love. So the Ace of Swords. Wow, we have a couple here. We have two couples here. So not only is this a spiritual connection, but you're dealing with someone with a king and queen here. This person is in love with you. Didn't I say that? Hidden emotions, the king of cups, he can love you to the moon and back, and you still won't figure out that if they love you or not. Because they've 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 mastered their emotions, right? They know exactly how to hide their emotions. And the Queen of Cups here is a little opposite, okay? She's always being sensitive. She's always around. She's so emotional. She's so compassionate. And the King of Cups here, right? He he tries to, he maintains that head and heart, okay? He maintains that. But yeah, that's a very um, supportive and a very uh, caring partner, okay, to have around. This person has a good control over himself. And at the same time, this person is a very intuitive partner too. They know you love them. Look how they're both looking at each other if you see this. They're both looking at each other. You both love each other a lot. And you both, or at least one of you, at least the person who's ignored you, the one who's playing mind games has definitely realized that how strong this connection is, okay? A lot of emotions in this connection, a lot. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Star wanted to come out. Something's going to be destined and fated. Say, the lovers. This is this person saying, I love you. I want you, Capricorn. I have awakened to this uh, entire connection. But they're fearing rejection here. This person doesn't know if you're going to accept them back or not. Because with an empress here, this, they, 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 they see you as someone who's okay on their own, right? You're very... Um, you scream, I am whole, I am complete. I don't need anyone to fulfill me. I'm, I'm enough. And that's something that this person has realized. That when you were there in their life, you brought a lot of balance in their life, okay? You taught them a lot of things. And now that you've walked away, now that you've gone away, they're now, you know, literally regretting properly that they should have opened up. They should have expressed their feelings instead of sabotaging the connection. They forced you to walk away, like literally. Because of their lack of communication or because of their mind games or because of their uh, emotions not being expressed, okay? Always giving you the cold shoulder, always trying to be very harsh towards you. This person could be very afraid of commitment or very afraid of being opening up or very afraid of being vulnerable for sure. But yeah, you walked away and they have like this huge realization of, of how they fucked up. They're rushing in, guys. They're rushing in. We have the lovers here, for God's sake. That's a twin flame union, okay? This person is definitely coming in. They love you a lot. And there's no more denial. They're rushing in with the Knight of Wands here. They're probably looking at the best way to approach you. Wow. Seriously. <sighs> Two of Cups. There's a relationship coming in. This person loves you as much as you love them. Just that you, do, you chose to probably teach them a lesson. It was a little hard. It was a little hard because you've gone through that point of exhaustion, okay, where you were giving to this relationship, where you were getting nothing back. You finally chose yourself. You gave them the silent treatment. You trusted your intuition, your gut, your instinct. And guess what? Your instincts were right. Your instincts were right. You know they were coming in. So yeah, not only is there love here, there's also the spiritual connection. This is a very destined, divine, fated connection. It's a very meant-to-be connection. With the moon here, deep emotions, okay? Deep emotions out here. And someone's coming to make things right, for sure, okay? They're rushing in. This person could come off as someone very unreliable, but they're passionate about you, okay? They're rushing in, they can't wait. They can't wait to come towards you. Give me the likely outcome for Capricorn, please, for this week. Someone's awakened to this connection is what I'm getting. Someone's awakened to this connection. They no longer are questioning this connection. They've learned their lessons. This is some kind of psychic guidance or some kind of uh, um, uh, signals that the universe has given them, okay? 
they've been divinely guided to come towards you. Give me the likely outcome for Capricorn this week, please. What is the likely outcome for Capricorn and love for the week of November 2020? Damn, Wheel of Fortune, baby. That's a lot of communication with the Eight of Wands here. Something's going your way. Something's going to be like, there's going to be quick progress, unexpected, unforeseen communication. It's going to be a shock. This person's going to come in from nowhere, okay, but they're coming in. Just expect a message or a call or text any moment, okay? That's fast energy here. They can't wait to come in and express what they really feel. They can't wait to come in and tell you what the truth is. They want to reveal their feelings to you. Wheel of Fortune, that's someone's wanting to get the ball rolling, okay? This person's coming in to change the entire connection. Be prepared, Capricorn. Give me one more card for Capricorn's outcome. Just don't know what your reaction is going to be, Capricorn, when this person comes in because you're not expecting this. So the Eight of Swords, it's going to probably put you in your head. You're just going to be like confused about like, like what happened. Give me one card for the outcome. Give me one more card for the outcome. Give me one more card for the outcome, please. Yeah, see, Five of Pentacles. You're still not sure if you want this person back, okay? But this person's watching you. Or this could be you who's wanting to need. You feel the need to gather more information, okay? You feel the need to look at them from a distance, okay? To keep them at an arm's length. Because you're still not sure. You still have trust issues, okay? With the Three of Cups here, this person wants reconciliation. They want you back. But with the Five of Pentacles here... They feel left out, okay? They feel isolated, like I said, right? You're giving them the cold shoulder, so I don't know when this person comes in, you're going to be in two minds, okay? You're like, nah, I don't know. Let me think about it, okay? I mean, you're wanting to make a more smart decision when this person comes in. You're not wanting to give in your all. You're not wanting to jump in um, head first, okay? You're wanting to take it slow, even if this person comes in. I don't see you as completely rejecting this person and showing them away. I see you as, okay, all right, let's see how this goes, okay? But I'm not going to be able to completely commit to you or completely be in this with you. Because again, you have huge trust issues with this person. You are going to think 10 times before you open up or before you be vulnerable to this person. More than anything, I'm getting that you're not going to still take this person very seriously when they come back because you feel that there's still some deception around. There's still something hidden. There's still something that you don't know about this person. But just to put it out there, probably not for everyone, but if it helps anyone, the moon, the moon god, right? That's all about illusions. It has nothing to do with the reality. It has nothing to do with the facts or logic or any rational thinking. So whatever your fears are related to this person or this connection, right? It's all based on your viewpoint about this person or about your past experiences or about what you went through with this person. None of it has to do with the reality, okay? So be very mindful about that. If you're fearing this connection, if you're not sure, if uh, you feel there's some deception, well, then the deception lies within you, okay? It's within your thoughts. In reality, I guess it's just something which is too good to be true and that's why you don't trust it. That's what I'm getting for you, Capricorn. So I hope this reading resonates with you and uh, do like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool, Caps. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.